<laughs> Don't mind me, just sitting here with my Tim Hortons coffee. Always fresh, always Tim Hortons. Love it. This is not a paid advertisement. viewing pleasure this week's theme is embarrassing story or funny story that could be like work related or something so what you get from me today is an embarrassing story because welcome to my continuous ball of embarrassment that I like to call my life so back when I was 12 and yes ladies and gentlemen it's true I have been doing embarrassing things my entire life so my family used to do this thing where every summer we would go down to Florida and we would rent out a condo on the beach and we would just chill there for a week. We'd go to Disney World, Bush Gardens, all these fantastic places that I loved. I had so much fun. But let me tell you the time where my pants fell down in the ocean. So being my 12 year old self, I was just on the beach with my brother and my family and we were just, you know, chilling, getting the sand, making sand castles, going in and out of the water in our tubes, you know, just kind of just kind of having a good time at the beach. Basically what happened was I was out and you know those like those inflatable like ring things that you kind of like put around you and you just kind of float in them and you just kind of like chill on them. You just kind of chillax like this and you just kind of, you just float there and you're just kind of, you know, floating in the ocean and there's like sharks and stingrays just kind of going by you. I don't know if that part's true, but. So on this particular day, it was very windy, and as you know, we're going to have a little bit of a science lesson here. When wind happens at the ocean, giant waves are made, and you know, they're huge, and they crash into the sand, like, exactly like that. So what happened was, I was just floating in the ocean with my tube, and all of a sudden, this humongous wave appears, and it just kind of goes, Again, like that. And I kind of flipped 15 times underwater and like I scratched my back on the bottom of the sand and like that was, that was fun. I decide, oh, I'm in a shallow part of the water so I'm going to stand up right now. So I stand up and guess what? My pants did not come with me. Nope, they were still in the water but <laughs> the rest of me was not. So for a good five seconds, I don't realize that my pants are not on my body, and I kind of go, oh, I'm just going to, you know, go back into the, into the, the beach and just kind of chill with my family, and then I go, oh, wait. Nope. And so I grab my pants as fast as I possibly can, hike them up as high as I can, and just kind of, you know, pretend like it didn't happen. Although I don't think anyone ever actually saw, because as this was happening, I kind of looked around to see if anyone was paying attention to me, and I don't think anyone was looking. So, I guess, I think at the end of the day, I could have taken the story to the grave with me, but instead, I decided to share it with all of you on the internet where millions of people can see it, and why do I do these things? I ask myself that question all the time. One last thing I really wanted to quickly mention was that I recently opened a P.O. Box a couple weeks ago, so here's the information right now, all up on the screen, P.O. Box, woo! So you guys can send me anything you want, you can send me letters, whatever. I also have this behind my bed that I really, really, really want to fill up with letters as much as possible. So if you guys wanted to send me anything, say anything to me that you want to, I will put it on my wall and just think of it this way. You can be with me. You know, you can be in my room, above my bed. The words that you put onto paper will be above my bed and just, we can share. I'll look at it every day about it. Okay, so that is it. I will see you guys next week. Bye guys. David out.